Hello, Cottage Crew. I'm Cottage Corners, and I got like again, it's been quick, 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 quick since you know quarantine and all that stuff. Like it turns from once a week to you know more a uh, week. I don't, I don't know how to count, but like I've done a full, almost a full week in the when I was reading the old. The oldest Kenya series, which is new, to, and you guys already know, you know, the me Kenya and all that stuff. Okay, so, yeah, let's talk about what I have on my, you know, what I'm planning to do. So, yep, I'm, yep, I'm, so far, I'm, like, doing good on the remake on, you know, that amazing story, the best story of my childhood. Which you got? Which if you guys watch is, let's celebrate Friday. And speaking of it, it it's actually Friday. So, yep, long timing. But I mean, it's good timing since if I haven't read that story before, then I will have still been working on that. You know that other project, the Spear of the Crystal Ball. I think that's yeah, that's what I if that's what I'm gonna call it. So. Yeah, I'll still be working on that project, and I probably won't really have any room. So. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad that I, you know, discovered that amazing story, that hilarious, hilarious story. So, yep, so I'm doing good on the remake and my voice cracks again. And, hmm, what should I say on the remake? So, yeah, there'll be a few changes and adaptions towards, you know, the story, you know, a few changes that I'm going to make. Yeah, you know, some adaptions, I already said that, and, hmm. Yeah, so far, yeah, I'm gonna love it. I'm already doing the voiceovers, which, hmm. Yeah, I'm already doing the voiceovers, which is, like, the biggest part that's going to change is that I'll be pitching out my voice or pitching down, you know, like, I had to pitch out my voice so I create, you know, like, Pretty much every voice but Gumbel. Every, every voice but Gumbel so far, so far. Like, I haven't reached to the part where Anais came. Like, so far, I'm, like, in the part where, you know, they, like, thought of this idea of the best Friday. Like, I'm at that part where, where they're, like, you know, doing that thing. So... Yeah, so far I'm at that part of the story. I haven't reached the part where Anais comes downstairs, but like I'm getting to there, and you're gonna love the way she just enters. Like I wish I can show you, but yeah. So so far I'm at that part, you know. Like the only voice so far that I won't be pitching up or down is Gumbel. That's the only one. So and also, yeah, this is like the yeah, you know, once I've like sort of done I mean it's not done like I want to have a clipping of the Kenya series that have come now so um yeah so remember when I say that well almost done with you know the stories but yeah this is like the part of the you know the era where I'm like thinking of creating like new series new stories but they're not really coming out as I thought it would so like, I remember taking a break and then coming back with another series, which there were a lot of recreations of it. And I'm still thinking of it right now. So, yeah, so this is like the part of the era where I started to run out of ideas and I stopped until I came back with sort of a bang, but not really. And then. Wait, no, this was, wait, 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 that story was after the love combat. Whoa, I just realized that story was after the love combat. Okay, but this story is before, you know, all these stories are before until we reach to, you know, like, you know, once I took a break, then the love combat, and then the series. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so. Oh yeah, so this is called the Notebook of Everything. Even though I'll only be reading one story of it, like, oh yeah, and this was back of the era where I thought that because I got my glasses and because I wore glasses, which 
I'm not wearing my glasses right now since I don't really need them right now, so. But, you know, once I got my glasses in, like, 4th and 5th grade, like, between 4th and 5th grade, well, not in the summertime, just at the end of 4th grade, I, I thought I was, like, this huge nerd, so. Yeah, I thought I was really smart, so I thought I know everything, except I didn't, and I got the minus in English. But, yep. And this was before the episode, The Origins, which is in Gumballs, which shows, like, the origin of Darwin and all that stuff. Because, yep, this was before, so this is gonna be... Because I still remember that episode, except, like, this was before I knew about it. I mean, no, 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 this was before the episode aired, so... Yeah, I made up my own story of it, so... Yeah, but I won't judge myself that hard since I didn't. Okay, so this one is called How Gumbo Met Darwin. I mean, How Gumbo and Darwin Met. Yay. And it says, P.S. This is not a real story in Gumbo life. And I'm bad at drawing animals, so they're humans. Well, you're bad at drawing humans. Look at this. Yeah, you're bad at drawing humans. Just admit that. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. That's so... Thank goodness I wore like pencil and all that stuff. Okay, god dang. Like, all my personal information. Wow, I'm serious. So, oh yeah, and again, the rainbow. Well, at least I wasn't, you know, pointing at, like, this is the rainbow. And, yeah, here we go. So, let's do this. At Friday. <laughs> Don't remind me of Friday. I mean, today is Friday, but... <laughs> Nicole Gumball's mom. Oh wow, fun fact. She's Gumball's mom. Pick up Gumball. Gumball, how was school? Nicole asked. It was awful. Awful. With an aw, awful. Gumball cried. Oh no. Oh my god. I've lost all of my friends. You mean friends? Paul? Plus, I don't really think that you lost all of your friends, just... Like, there's a difference between close friends and best friends. Just know that. Difference between close friends and best friends. Like, these are your close friends. And, you know, this is your best friend. So, yeah, you haven't lost all of your friends, or just your close friends. And you're lucky, because I have no friends. Alan, Tobias, and Banana Joe. Oh, she said, it's a great thing that I, that I give you this visual and award for being good this week. <laughs> Seal said, I'm gonna rewatch the origins again. You know, I'm gonna rewatch the whole, whole series of the Major of Gumbo right now, so get me out of this. Like, I swear, do you have to? Like, that Friday one! That Friday one! Then the fish swam around. His name is Dolan, and he needs your care. Don't everybody need care? Said Nicole. The girl put his finger in the bowl, and Dolan put his fin in the glass. Where Gumball's fingers was at. Oh yeah, so basically that scene that I remembered, except it was much better! <sighs> Whatever, this was before the episode, so let me not get too ticked.
But why don't I have a fish? And he's asked. Actually, uh, yeah, when was that thing? What? Like, I guess it was because, you know, fish eels, but I don't really know a damn about fish eels. And I still don't, because I'm scared of fish. But why don't. Okay. I, actually, both of you can get Dolan and put him in your room. She said, okay, mom. Gobble and I used them to get back home. And a few minutes later, Nicole opened the door and Gobble and Anna is Gumball says, Oh, I didn't do that! You didn't mention it before! Wim, hey guys, and Nicole. Wait, so who's Gobble? Is Gobble Gobble's Gobble's? <sighs> so, Nicole, I heard that people took away Dollar because they said bad wish to his face, but you have to be careful with him, said Nicole. With bad wish to his face? I don't get it! I promise that Gumball, me too, and he's agreed. Okay, and when Mebo take care, she said. When she leave, Gumball was trying to make a wish on him. Okay. Gumball and he's one. Mom said to not make a wish on him or else he will take over the whole world. <gasps> oh no! Too bad to still with that thing! Oh please sis, watch this. We'll not do anything with him, said Gumball. Okay, she said. Oh wow, that, that, you're, you're not Gumball? <sighs> then Gumball finally said his wish. I wish I could have a new best friend, don't we all? So I won't be lonely ever again. Really? You just lost your, all your friends in one day! In one day! <sighs> then Darwin didn't do anything. See, I told you said Gumball. I can't believe! I can't believe! It still says believe! Why would I not dispel? I'm saying this, but you're wise, said Anais. Told ya, told ya, told ya, told ya. Oh my god! Oh my. Yes! Well, at least I'd be honest with myself. That looks hella awful. Oh. God. I get it, I get it, I get it, said Anise. Later at night, when Gobble and Anise was asleep, Dolby started talking. Like, seriously, like, I mean, I know this was before the episode where it actually shows the official origins, but the official origins is better than this, and I want to watch that! Then listen to this story! Okay. Okay, good night, Gumball, said Dolan. Oh, wow, be, be shady to Anais. Wait, why did I start talking, he said. Uh-oh, now Gumball will totally take me away. Gumball, Gumball, that Gumball kept on sleeping. I'll do the same. Well, at least he could wait till the morning when I can still talk. So Dolan went to sleep. My God, I... Wait, am I actually crying? Because there was a much better episode than this, and I want to be watching that. Like that. A much better episode. At the morning, Gumbo wake up. Good morning, Gumbo said, Don. Good morning, Don. Wait, Don? Gumbo, I said, Yo, that Annie's wake up. Gumbo, I have a dream that Don could talk. She said, It's true, said Don. OMG, what did. What did you do now? And he asked. Uh oh, I made a wish I could have a new best friend. Now he's my new best friend, said Gumbo. Just because he can talk? Just because he can talk, he's your new best friend?
told you, told you, told you, and he's but I get it, I get it, I get it. So I go, oh, wow, well, we used it that, Joe. That's great. The door was lighting up. Uh oh, said so Joe. What is happening to me, said so Joe? I rather have him die than turn into this monster. Die. Then he grow legs and his head get bigger. Dad in this. Go for these gaps. We gotta tell Mrs. Mom, Mrs. Dad, if you have any, so don't let, so that's how Gumball and Dora met. Actually, no, it's not really. Because there's an actual episode in the actual show that's much better than this. The end, finally. And yes, you saw me. My drawing's terrible. Yes, your drawings are terrible. Look at this. <sighs> And then there was more, which, yeah, I'm not going to show you it, it's just, oh yeah, I remember getting poison ivy once. Yeah, I remember once getting poison ivy, and so I tried to find a treatment for it, so, yeah, that's happened then. Yep, so I tried to, like, find... So yeah, I was trying to find a treatment for my poison ivy since I once had it when I was in fourth grade, like at the end. Okay, so all of that stuff. Oh wait, there's another story? Okay, I didn't realize that there was another story. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh yeah, and they have all oh, the stuff that I want, which is mostly just sunflower seeds. That's it. Like, I'm not lying. Look at this. Okay, I did this pack like another story to keep. Like, I came downstairs with three notebooks just in case it, I ran out. Oh my god. And... Okay, so. Oh my god. This was the seal. Yeah, this was one of the series that I. That, you know, I was thinking of, you know, doing some new series, which. You know, didn't turn out a lot. Like, it was mostly just brainstorming of which new series. Like, you know, just like now on my channel where I like try to brainstorm new series. Like, for example, that Angel and Demon one. You know, the backstory, that stuff. You know, my first my first video, which, you know, it had two parts, but it and but it didn't really continue. And then, and then the Weird Kid one, I hated that one. I really do. Like, it was really cringe when I look back at it, so, yeah, I privated all of that stuff, like, I don't even want to be remembered of it, so, I, so, yeah, I'm not doing that series ever again, it was so cringe, and then, then, oh, yeah, that, um, that Angel Elementary School one, which was a spin-off of a Gotcha Master video, you know, it was, like, you know, like, I tried to, like, do an idea, you know, just like with On Toy, where it's a spin-off of a series, I tried to do the same thing with Angel Elementary School, which was a prequel spin-off of, you know, that series, which Angel High School. But it didn't really turn out well as I thought, so, yeah, I only had one part, and I still kept it on my channel, but, yeah, so I had to move on to another series, which, yeah, I was playing way more series than that, like The Spoiled Princess and Silent Silver, but... No, those series, like, they didn't get made, and, yeah, I was just brainstorming just, like, what I do right now, so, 
Yep, I still bring some until I stick with one series, you know, on Tali, which is excellent. Well, season two, actually, since you know that I, like, I don't really like season one. And, and I'm moving on to The Fallen Angels once I get done with some of my other projects, such as, you know, The Spirit of the Crystal Ball. And, of course, let's celebrate Friday we make Adaptation. And so this was one of the series that I got on one part of. Except this was before my channel, so you have the ugliest girl. What happened if you eat makeup? This is not a nonfiction book. Well of course it's not since you don't do your goddamn research. Plus she doesn't really look that ugly, she just looks the same. Oh yeah, here's another picture of her. God, so let's read this. Oh, let me come down. Let me. Okay, so about let's do this. While in middle school, you know nothing about middle school, so stop by thoughts about middle school. The grossest girl named Zoe, Zoe was in Mr. Go Go Wolf. Try saying that name. G U R U G F U L. A Gog. Google full, Google, Google, Google full, Google full, Google full science class, and that's and that's why you shouldn't eat glue, especially you, Zoe. He said. Okay, so she just eats a lot of real stuff. No wonder I didn't continue this series. I know. I'm sorry. She apologized. That the school bell ring. Class is missed. He says. So Zoe, chill out her. Or cleared out her locket that she has to bring at school. When she was finished, her only best friend, Daffy Daly, was calling Zoe. Oh yeah, I remember this character, which I was praying for her to be Rapunzel in disguise, in this, you know, kid disguise, but again, didn't finish the series because it sucks. Hey Zoe, I get some. I got something to tell you," said Daffodilly. "Let me guess." Zoe paused while closing her locker. "All of your family are named after flowers, right now?" Zoe asked. "True, but no," she said. "Since you're the grossest girl in school, I'm going to give you a makeover," she squealed. "Wow, Daffodilly, that's actually a great idea," said Zoe. Then they saw. Oh wow. That the school was empty except the janitor. Okay, now I remembered something from here. Yeah, I remember where my sister was, you know, pressuring me to continue the Kenya series because I guess she likes terrible stuff. No offense. No offense. So I was like saying that that's Kenya and, you know, the new girl. Like, I was like saying that, you know, I'm still doing the Kenya series even though I wasn't. Like, I just remember this picture thinking about that time. The empty except the janitor. Hey, girls, are you supposed to go back home? The janitor yelled. We were just talking about makeup, said Zoe. For the grossest girl at school, the janitor laughed. Oh, wow, that's really mean. Get out, he said, so Zoe started going to Daffodilly's house. Seriously, everyone's being mean spirit there to her. Like, seriously, the first, the first part. It looks like a garden. Welcome to my home. 
Welcome to my house. <laughs> Said that but daily. Then all of the animals pop out from its habit. When wh while the daffodilies bum and dad pop out from the sky. Hello boys or girls, my name is Tulip and my husband name and look at this. Yeah, I was planning for her to be like this this guy from Punzel, but you know it didn't finish. It's sunflower, he said. Uh nice to meet you, Tulip and Sunflower, says Zoe. Just ignore them. They're crazy, said Daffodilly. Wow, roast them. Let's uh, just ignore. Okay, let's go to my sister's Lily Lily's room. She got the best tablet. Wait, no, she got the best table in the town, and she also still at school, so we could use it. She said, but that Zoe was busy eating the flowers. No wonder you're the grossest girl in school. I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but... Just... Why? Why? Oh, okay. So we stopped eating the flowers, and we got to go to Lily's room. Then Zoe stopped. Who's Lily? Zoe muffled. Never mind, let's just go, she says. So Zoe followed Daffodilly to Lily's room. Okay, Zoe, I carry my backpack full of makeup, so since you've never seen any, I'm going to do makeup to you, Daffodilly explained, so she started doing her makeup. When she was finished, Daffodilly grabbed a mirror and faced it to Zoe. So, Zoe, what do you think? She said. I look very cute and fabulous. Fab. Fab. Fabulous. Spelled F A B O L U S. Zoe squealed. But don't forget the finishing touches, she said. The daffodilly gave her lotion and deodorant. I put beautiful day on her. Oh, yeah, that lotion for Bath and Body Works. And, yeah, this is like what it looks like. And her legs just turned into heels. Like, oh my. Oh. <laughs> Like that picture, like her legs turn into heels and looks pretty uncomfortable. Lady Speed stick the other end. So, Zoe, now how do you feel? Daffodilly asked again. This makeover makes me feel so powerful, says Zoe. I can't wait for the next day of school. That Lily was coming in her room because now her school is over. Daffodilly, did I did I just told you a million times to get out of my room? Lily asks. I know, but we have a makeup emoji emojis Lee 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 So to Zoe, she said. But now get out, she says so they did. Wow, everyone's being mean spirited. While in the next day of school, Daffodilly was surprised that this day Zoe didn't wear her makeup. Zoe said Daffodilly, what happened to your makeup? Okay, here's a hint, said Lily, so she breathed in Daffodilly's face. Hey, your breath actually smells good. Wait a minute, she said. You ate the makeup. Okay, does makeup even make you, your breath smell good? I don't think it does. Of course, they call me the grossest girl at school for no reason, so he explained. So she calls herself that. Wow, great self-esteem. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> But no, we so explained that he started walking to class. Then, in five days later, Zoe started looking ugly. Her teeth started to fall out. Uh, like, I remember having a nightmare with my teeth. Like, mostly my back teeth started to fall out. I remember having that nightmare. God, and I was like spitting out teeth. <laughs> I remember having that nightmare, my back teeth falling out. Her ears grew more wax. Those details. She saw her looking skinny. Okay, or well that she's anorexic. And her arms 
feels and looks droopy. Well, Zoe, what happened to you? said Daffodilly. It's the makeup, Daffodil. Now help me. Zoe begged. Okay, all you need okay, all we need is a swing ray or a swinging flower that I got in my pocket just for emergencies, said Daffodilly. Ah yes. A swinging a swinging flower, a swing ray. Perfect, perfect to teach your kids that, you know, it's okay to be makeup as long as you have a swing way. Let me grab a swing way up. Then the principal comes. It sure me goes, but you're going to be late for science class, she said. Oh, yeah, said Davidelli. Science class. When they were at science class, they just sit down. Whoa, Zoe, what happened to you? And please, don't say you're eating glue again, said Mr. Gugful, Gugful, how do I say this name? Gugful. Nope, said Daffodilly. She was eating makeup. Okay, class. So what? Oh, so what we're gonna do is science free time. He said. Yay! Yelled all the students. When I mean science free time, I mean like a science fair. He contends. He contends. Well, I mean I'm getting close to spelling continue wide. Oh, said all the students. Oh, come on, you need to express yourselves and do some science, to, so be creative, said Mr. Gogful. Gogful? Finish? Okay, Mr. Gogful finished? So that Davidelli stiffed the shrinking flower. The sink, it says shrinking, shrinking. With a, with a C of an N. Oh no, she said in a, in a suspicious, suspicious, suppose say suspicious, what has a spell? Way? Then she was shrieking and shrieking and shrieking, shrieking and shrieking and shrieking. So then everyone in class gaps. So Daffodilly plopped into Zoe's mouth. I can go to get and class. Then they gaps again. No, just. No, 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 hello, no, 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 hello, no, 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 hello, no, hello, no, hello, no. But Daffodilly is done getting all the makeup and wow, the flowers started to wear off. Well, I mean, your damaged teeth and your, you know, like all of that stuff is still permanent. And Daffodilly's okay. Okay, so okay, get out of Zoe's body quickly, and then Zoe started to feel better. Thanks, Daffodilly, but now I learned a pretty good lesson that a small problem could turn into a big problem. Says Zoe. Oh, that's all you learned? Should you learn that you shouldn't eat makeup, or that you shouldn't be the grossest girl in school? Seriously, I, oh my God, that was a deleted. Okay, I don't know why it's like, let me show you, the end. let me show you. Like, you can tell, but, okay, but I can read it, so. So, if it continues, then it will be like, then all of the students clap. That was wonderful. You two were going to turn that to the science fair, said Mr. Gogful. So, there was a competition who prized get to go to the side. Okay, so I think the reason why I deleted that line is because it went off topic, so yeah, that's the end. Oh yeah, more poison ivy treatments. Oh, and oh yeah, I remember going to Royal Caribbean and, you know, say out my plans. Oh my god. Yep. So, as I say, I have to make these statements, and I remember wanting to choose my elective since I was going to, wait, was I going, yes, I was going to middle school. My god, time, like, this, like, these times move so fast. So, yeah, I was ready to, like, either go to art or, um, what was, free period, which, those are the actual electives in our school. It's just, I remember reading this American Girl book about, you know, starting middle school, and those were like the electives, but it wasn't the electives of our actual school, so, 
yeah. So yeah, I was so yeah, I was why right, like in between odd and free period. Even though like free period, wait you know, odd and free period, like those are the actual electives in sixth grade. Like it was a book about starting middle school. It wasn't the last it was the actual electives, but yeah. There was just some pros and some cons. You know, along with back when I was watching grandpa movies. Oh yeah, more sixth grade notes. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And so since I have to eat, eat dinner quick, then I mean, like we can like do this sort so. And this one is even more. S oh my God, it's t it's more torn up. Like, is this all? Oh, and I remember this series. Like, I'm not even gonna. Okay, so. Like, uh, all of these are, like, sort of AF. So, yeah. Woo woo, Amy Buzz notebook time. Yeah, but I don't remember being a huge Amy Buzz fan. Yep, so it's time to. We the last final story of the baseball gum out of dolling. I know what? I'm not excited at all. I am not, cause like the only good story was let's tell me Friday and I can't believe it. Oh my god, this one just looks So yeah, I was playing to weed this I was played to read this book, this, you know, for a talent show, and I skimmed it down. Except it was more of like a new story, so. Yeah. I, I, I once read this at a talent show, and I don't think I was listening. I, I was too stuck in, like, probably people didn't really hear me, and. Oh my god, like, the morning routine I had was watch TV, play on iPad, write book, and sleep or eat breakfast. My morning routine, everybody. Used to be my morning routine. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. It made it all fun, all story. Okay, so... So this is exactly what what came in, but yeah, let's read this and and the humiliation. Like this will be the last. So let's get this one quick. Let's do this quick. Let's do this thing quick. Again, Rainbow, Unlucky Sun, this page is torn apart. <sighs> okay, let's do this. This will be sort. While in Gumbel's house, she was writing her diary about the health test. Okay, yeah, I changed it from a writing test to a health test. Then the doorbell rang, so Gumbel hurried downstairs, and it was darling. They were so surprised that they do their hair straight. So are you ready for the test? Gumbel asked. The, do the darling put her head down. No, said darling, but darling, you know that heat is the hardest, and we also have Miss Simon, said Gumbel. Not Miss Simon, she's the worst, said darling. So if we get... An A plus. She would totally be nice, said Gumbel. I agree with you, said Darling. Come on, buddy, let's go to my room, she said. So they did. Yes, they did. 
While in Gumball Swim, Dolling said, All things that is outside the body. That's good, but do you know what's inside the body? Gumball asked. Crap. Crap is inside the body. Okay, Gumball, I put her head down again. No, she cried. The Gumball found an X-ray. Oh yes, an X-ray. I have that in my room all the time with my 3D printer. Yeah. Yeah, my globe. <laughs> That's like in every cartoon. Yeah, we have that in kids' room all the time. Okay, I got an idea, she said. When Gabel, when Gabel tells her the idea to Darling, they both dress up like doctors holding an x-ray, so they both knock on the door at the same time. Um, well, couldn't you do that to yourselves? God, Plow. We need Tobia Wilson, please. They both said, so Tobia opened the door. Welcome to my house. Yeah. And you may come in my room, said Tobia, so they went. They went. God. Can you lay down? Welcome to my house. Can you lay down? Okay, sure, she said. So she done the x-ray and they also wore all those body parts. Well, couldn't you just do that with each other? Like, seriously. You don't need to go to Tobia. You could have just done that to yourselves. I mean, the story would be much shorter, but that's the point. In a few minutes later, they were done. Your checkup is done, and you feel fun. fun. Now, no, I got to go and say goodbye. Says so Dolly, so they went back home and dropped the their lab coat in Tobias' house. Oh wow! In the morning, when school began, Gumbel and Dolly started. Gumbel and Dolly turned in their test to Miss Simon. In a few minutes later, Miss Simon turned the test, but Gumbel and Dolly were the only one who got an A plus. So Tobias pulled it out. Miss Simon, Gumbel and Dolly cheated by using an X-ray on me. How do you know, Gumbel? Because you left this, said Tobia, gave you two lab coats. What a snitch. That Miss Simon was... so so What does that say? Gumbel and Dolly, you're going home, Wally, said Miss Simon. So they went back home, tell their parents when... Go, so they went back home and their parents ground them for a week. And a lot of this deleted stuff. Yay. Oh my god, it says the end. This is just a short this is just a short version, but the full version was too long, so guess what happens in the chapters, so Yay. Yeah, I remember originally playing like I remember originally playing this this story to be the you know that the story, you know how Gumball met Darwin. I was planning for this to be the one I was saw in the talent show, but turned out it was this we done, which my guy we made it. Which no, you should have remade the Friday one. Like seriously. And my guys have any more? Yes, there's more, but oh my god, did it get finished? Or maybe it wait, it did in a different notebook. Yes, it did. So, hmm, like I have to go eat dinner quick, but hmm, should I wait this? Or I mean, yeah, I'll be yeah, I mean, this is quick, so plus there's already another one, which is. Probably you know back when I was trying to like think of ideas on new series and all this stuff. So yeah, so this will be quick. So the so this is the last one. So this is called Science and Games. And so this was based on pretty much me and my sister. 
Well, you know, back when I thought that was this huge note just because it wore glasses and my sister, you know, she plays games and probably still does. So she plays games on her phone and her tablet while I'm like seriously, why do I like why do I think that I was this big nerd was this big nerd? Like seriously I was it. I didn't really get the good the best grades. Uh, beaker and iPhone, that's not a beaker, that's just a rectangle. Like, create more, like, shades or stuff, like, instead of, like, just this being a, a triangle. iPhone. <sighs> oh my god, let's try to do the same adding technique that I use with, you know, God, I'm sorry to miss that series already, surprisingly. While in the last day of school, two sisters named Anna and Brigitte Brid Brigitte were getting back home. Hey guys, I got some bad news, their mom Lizzie. Said their mom Lizzie. Why do we need to know that? Their mom is named Lizzie. We will have no vacation, so you have to find a hobby out, Lizzie Mom, Lizzie Mom, overnight camp, Lizzie Mom, Lizzie Mom, what? Lizzie Mom, overnight camp, just what? Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going to vacation and find a hobby to do at Lizzie Mom's, Lizzie Mom's, Lizzie Mom, Lizzie Mom. Lizzie Mom. Overnight camp? Like, seriously, like, creating new names. Like, dang. Like, seriously, I probably have to be the worst name giver ever. Like, seriously, imagine if I actually have kids, and I'll probably name them Lizzie Mom and Gogafool and, and Josina. Just imagine! Oh my god. I have to be the worst at coming up with names. <sighs> uh, that's awesome. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go, said Brigitte. So, they went there. After when Lizzie signed up, the founder of Lizzie Mom's of Lizzie Mark Overnight Club, Overnight Club, Oh yeah, I thought it was a cabin. Wait, no, club. It says club. I need to. Okay, came right back there. Damn. Hello, guys. I'm your counselor. Actually, everyone. Every, actually, everyone's counselor. Lily, Millie. Oh my god! Like these names. Oh my god. Like. I mean, like, oh my god. I'm gonna name my kids Lily, Millie, Lizzie Ma, Gogaful, Josina. Just anything that's not normal. Seriously, Lily Millie. God. And if you're ready, go to the wall to the right, she said. Like, seriously. Like, why, when I grow up, I saw it coming up with bad names. Like, the Kenya series, like, they come up with decent names. Like, I love the name Kenya, McKenna, and Kika, and Sammy, and Kiki, and, you know, Lisa. Like, those names are normal. But now you're coming up with names like Lily, Millie, and Gookful, and Josina, and Lizzie Ma. Why? Why? That's why I'm gonna name my kids, and they will hate me for the rest of my life. Well, to the wise, he said, Bye, kids, see you tomorrow, said, Lily, said Lizzie. Wait, I thought it was an overnight camp, so why tomorrow? Okay, this is... Oh. Bye, Anna and Bridget said, so they, so they start going. While all the children in the camp stand on the wall, Anna and Bridget start thinking which club they... And that's how it ends. Well, I mean, it contains here, it, which says books and stories and wireless notebook. You know, it's all of them together. So this is going to be the book that I'll be reading the next time. Next time.
And my god, Lizzie Ma Like what? And the club, which looks lazy AF. Oh my and the and it's all tear apart. Okay, so I read two notebooks in one day. And that's it. That's all. You know, we completed we completed two full notebooks in one day. <sighs> and there was more and there was more hell where that came from. Like those books are already torn up, so this join the book of hells. I know the the pits of hells and I'm not sure if I want like the pits are already falling apart, so whatever this this will join the pits of hells like DLC. Oh my god. God, that was like the worst. Okay, so like those stories weren't really that bad. It's just, yeah, you know, like I'm like you know, it's like experimenting, which like every creator, every creators have to experiment. So, but my experimenting, like God dang, like both when writing stories and on my channel, you know, experimenting, which I done both. Yep. No, just experimenting. So, got you dinner, fish Friday, so goodbye.